Hello, uh, Gaya, bonjour, zdravo, uh, tere, buna zia, hallo, hallo. <laughs> A lot of different words. Uh, I'm very, uh, very help, uh, happy uh, with uh, our webinar, with the sprint. It's a sprint webinar. Uh, it's a second webinar uh, about uh, our news uh, with the product for last quarter. Well, um, the first thing is about webinar rules, of course. Uh, write your question along the way. Answers will be given at the QA session. You can use a uh, web chat for it uh, here. The duration of webinar is uh, 45 minutes uh, plus plus uh, QA session up to 15 minutes. Uh, the webinar will be recorded. Uh, for all questions, please contact us at contact dot uh, at iridiummobile.ru. Well, um, the first part will be about KNX home server. It's our mm, not so new product, but uh, very, uh, but it's this, this very simple, very good product uh, with a good uh, improvement every month. Every month we improve this product. We um, make it very simple, uh, very interesting. Well, the third thing about KNX Home Server is uh, uh, we add a demo mode without registration. What it means? Well, I just uh, run the KNX application. And here, I haven't any login in this application. It looks like, like your customer can uh, use it in uh, iPad or iPhone or Android or Windows machine. All of this um, platform available for this product. And of course, you can uh, use it without server. I mean, without the hardware. Well, uh, here we have a label like a start demo. Just check it. Uh, it's all very simple. Uh, for now, we have a demo mode for uh, you can show this uh, to your customer. You can check it with some play, with some buttons, with some statuses, with some uh, settings, of course. You have config here. You can check uh, some uh, functions here, like uh, floor and rooms, uh, like devices, how it looks like, what's, what settings available here, some uh, part about logic part, like uh, schedules, routines, etc. All of this available in demo mode. Of course, if you will. Uh, check it like a close project. In this case, all your changes will be reset, resetted because uh, each uh, start with a start demo will be like a new project. And again, it's the same thing. And additional things uh, that uh, it's always about your settings in your iPad or on the, I, mean, on, I mean on your device with the language settings. Uh, for now, I have here uh, English language by default, and it means I have this uh, demo on English language. But if I will use some another language, it will be with another language too. It it our first function uh, from the last uh, quarter. Well, the next thing it's about fast access to settings time. Well, early. Uh, when you use uh, a timer, it's a very simple timer. I just uh, log into this application. I, I will use some pro pro project here. Uh, sign in. I have here some project. Uh, 21 sprint. Yeah, I have activated server here. And early, I should use a config device 
relay and here I have a timer and add some timer. It's a very simple schedule, like a timer in your phone, like an alarm. But now I think it's not so easy. We made an interesting way. When you have some widget here, you can press the icon for this uh, subdevice, like for relay. Just press and hold, like a one uh, zero five minutes. Uh, why not? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, timers, and I can add a new timer here. For example, I can add another timer. Done, and now I have some sign here uh, with an icon, and I can use it for fast uh, access to this uh, timers. Well, it's a very simple way uh, to add new possible function to your user experience. The next thing that's about Quest access mode is added. It means that you can access to certain rooms can be limited. Remote control and settings timer can be allowed or banned. For example, you have uh, this product for your family, but uh, for example, you have some uh, person who will uh, who will hear like a one day just one day and you can add some rights for this uh, quest like for one day for uh, one room i mean for west room uh, i have a product project here again i have a room one it looks like my main room and west room with only one relay well i can use a config users and uh, add a new user with a some email and by default this user will be uh, binded with uh, only quest access in this mode you can use a room access like uh, only quest room and it's all you can uh, add some uh, access for timer settings or for remote control you can add some push notification etc but by default you can use like this it means in this mode this uh, user will use it only for this um, guest room and it's all it's very simple way to use it for guests or for uh, staff or for uh, your ch child Okay, but of course you can add it like an uh, ordinary user with the some rules, with access right, with the setting server, etc., etc. All of this possible. <coughs> okay, the next function is a system of backups is added, a capability to cancel changes on the server and in the i3 Kinex app. Well, sometimes. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sometimes we have some things. Uh, I have some changes in my project, and I want to make a snapshot for this uh, for this project. Well, here we have uh, new <coughs> things like a control of project versions. And for this project, it's a new project, and I have just a three backup copy with the song. Uh, time and for example it was the first uh, first level first step for my project it was uh, uh, in this time and I can uh, make uh, some mark for this uh, copy like a do not delete and it means it because it, it will be works like uh, like a spin we have a 10 different slots and it will be always uh, rotate in this uh, slots. Well, uh, when you will use this mark do not delete, it means that it will be stored in these slots always, and you can uh, restore your project for some uh, milestone. I think it's very powerful uh, and very interesting function for this, um, for this application. 
Okay, and of course you can uh, restore from this uh, backup copy uh, to your uh, to your project. Uh, the next thing it's about some new version, a Kmix version for Android with a kiosk mod support. How you can use it, how you can use it uh, on your project? Well, on our website we can we have section downloads. <clears throat> and in the section we have KMix Home Server downloads. And here we have Android application with a kiosk mode. It means that you can use this mode for uh, Android uh, uh, planchets, uh, Android tablets, Android tablets, sorry. Uh, and you can use it uh, with this mode. It means that uh, this application, our application i3 KMix, will be always on top. And after restarting of this panel, it will be uh, started automatically. Well, it's a very good solution for wall-mounted panels and it can be used in some um, common area because this application will be always run it on and other people can change it, uh, can use some settings, etc. Okay, uh, then, and it's all. Uh, for first thing, for first quarter, it's all. Uh, and again, we have some a new future. The first one, demo mode without registration. It's very powerful for presentation to a customer. Fast access to setting timers, just a uh, simple way to uh, new experience for your user experience. The next one, it's about Quest access mode. It's very powerful tool for good big uh, houses with the Quest, with the staff, etc. A new possibility with the back backup copies, and you can restore it in, in our project, and a new version for Android with the kiosk mode support. 